Once you change your philosophy, you change your thought pattern. Once you change your thought pattern, you change your, your attitude. Once you change your attitude, it changes your behavior pattern. And then you go on into some action. As long as you got a sit-down philosophy, you'll have a sit-down thought pattern. And as long as you think that old sit-down thought, you'll be uh, in some kind of sit-down everywhere. <laughs> it's not so good to refer to what you're going to do as a sit-in. That right there castrates you. Right there it brings you down. What, what goes with it? What, think of the image of a, someone sitting. An old woman can sit. An old man can sit. A chump can sit. A coward can sit. Anything can sit. Well, you and I have been sitting long enough, and it's time today for us to start doing some standing and some fighting to back that up. When we look at other parts of this earth upon which we live, we find that black, brown, red, and yellow people in Africa and Asia are getting their independence. They're not getting it by singing, we shall overcome. No, they're getting it through nationalism. It is nationalism that brought about the independence of the people in Asia. Every nation in Asia gained its independence through the philosophy of nationalism. Every nation on the African continent that has gotten its independence brought it about through the philosophy of nationalism. And it will take black nationalism that to bring about the freedom of 22 million Afro-Americans here in this country where we have suffered colonialism for the past 400 years. America is just as much a colonial power as England ever was. America is just as much a colonial power as France ever was. In fact, America is more so a colonial power than they, because she's a hypocritical colonial power behind it. What is 20th, what, what do you call second-class citizenship? Why, that's colonization. Second-class citizenship is nothing but 20th century slavery. How are you going to tell me you're a second-class citizen? They don't have second-class citizenship in any other government on this earth. They just have slaves and people who are free. Well, this country is a hypocrite. They try and make you think they set you free by calling you a second-class citizen. No, you're nothing but a 20th century slave. Just as it took nationalism to move, to remove colonialism from Asia and Africa, it'll take black nationalism today to remove colonialism from the banks and the minds of 22 million Afro-Americans here in this country. Looks like it might be the year of the ballot or the bullet. <laughs>